Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. As we know that bacteria are living in very competitive environment. They are not only compete other members of the same species for the food and other resources of life, but also face some harsh environmental conditions such as changing pH, temperature, light, heat and desiccation conditions. In this lecture, we will discuss how bacteria sense the changes in their environment as well as how bacteria respond to these changes. For this, bacteria has two component system for the detection and response to these environmental conditions. Here we are going to discuss how bacteria respond to change in temperature. With increase in temperature, bacteria sense it and start synthesizing a special proteins called heat shock proteins. For the detection and response to this high environmental temperature conditions, bacteria has two component system. In this two component system, two proteins are present. One of them is called as histidine kinase and other one is the response regulator. Response regulator protein is present intracellularly or inside the cell or inside the cytoplasm whereas the histidine kinase is the integral component of plasma membrane of the bacteria. Histidine kinase is responsible for the phosphorylation of proteins like other kinases whereas the response regulator protein is responsible for the stimulation of other proteins or genes to synthesize the heat shock, heat shock proteins after its phosphorylation. Here we have the histidine kinase that is located in the cell membrane of the bacteria. The end terminus of the protein that is facing towards the outside of cell is the input domain for sensing the temperature change while intracellular or which is also the C terminus is called as the transmitter domain. This transmitter domain is phosphorylated by hydrolyzing the ATP when the bacteria sense the high temperature conditions. With the phosphorylation, this histidine kinase is activated and capable of transferring its phosphate group to end terminus of the another protein called as the response regulator. This end terminus of the response regulator is called as the receiver domain. On phosphorylation, the response regulator is also activated and some conformational changes takes place at its C terminus that is called as the output domain. Now it is ready to stimulate the other proteins or may bind to the DNA. When it binds to the DNA, it starts the process of transcription and later on a translation for the production of special proteins that are called as heat shock proteins. These heat shock proteins act as heat absorber for the bacteria and responsible for its survival in hot environmental conditions. With the return of normal environmental conditions and bacteria no longer needs to synthesize the heat shock proteins, so response regulator protein becomes inactivated by dephosphorylation. So the phosphate group is removed by the special enzyme that is called as phosphatase. In this way bacteria not only sense the change in environment but also respond to the environment by two component systems or two protein systems. One of them is the histidine kinase and other one is the response regulator. I hope it makes sense. Thank you.